Welcome to Manufacta. The pencil, a simple tool, yet indispensable to countless tasks. From jotting down notes to creating masterpieces, the pencil has been a faithful companion for centuries. But have you ever stopped to wonder about the journey of a pencil, from its raw materials to its final form? It's a fascinating tale of ingenuity, craftsmanship and a touch of magic. This seemingly simple instrument is a testament to human innovation, evolving over centuries to become the ubiquitous tool we know today. The story of the pencil begins with a chance discovery. In the 16th century, English shepherds stumbled upon a strange black substance in the hills of Borrowdale. This substance, later identified as graphite, would revolutionize writing and drawing. Today, the process of making a pencil is a blend of art and science, a delicate dance between tradition and technology. Let's delve into the intricate world of pencil making and uncover the secrets behind this everyday marvel. At the heart of every pencil lies graphite, a naturally occurring form of carbon. Graphite's unique structure, composed of layers of carbon atoms arranged in a hexagonal lattice, gives it its remarkable properties. These layers, held together by weak forces, can easily slide over each other. This slipperiness is what makes graphite an excellent writing material. When you write with a pencil, these layers shear off, leaving behind a visible mark. Graphite's softness is also key to its versatility. By adjusting the ratio of graphite to clay, pencil makers can create leads of varying hardness, from the faint strokes of a 6H pencil to the bold lines of an 8B. But graphite is more than just a writing material. Its high conductivity makes it essential in batteries and electronics. Its heat resistance makes it ideal for use in crucibles and furnaces. The journey of graphite from mine to pencil is an arduous one. Graphite is extracted from underground mines or open pits, often located in remote and challenging environments. Once extracted, the raw graphite ore undergoes a series of processes to remove impurities and refine its quality. The ore is crushed, ground and washed to separate the graphite from the surrounding rock. Flotation, a process that exploits the differences in surface properties between graphite and impurities, is often used to further purify the graphite. This involves adding chemicals that cause the graphite particles to float to the surface where they can be collected. The purified graphite is then dried and graded based on its particle size, purity and other characteristics. This grading system determines its suitability for various applications, including pencil making. While graphite takes centre stage, clay plays a crucial supporting role in pencil making. Clay, a fine-grained earth material, is the secret ingredient that allows us to control the hardness of pencil leads. Adding clay to graphite doesn't just dilute its blackness. It fundamentally alters its writing properties. Clay acts as a binder, holding the graphite particles together and influencing the lead's strength and density. The type and amount of clay used determine the hardness or softness of the lead. A higher proportion of clay results in a harder lead that produces lighter lines, while a lower proportion yields a softer lead that creates darker, smoother strokes. This careful balancing act between graphite and clay is essential for creating the wide range of pencil grades we rely on for writing, drawing and sketching. Blending for perfection. The heart of pencil lead production lies in the art of blending. Graphite and clay, carefully measured and weighed, are combined in giant mixers. These mixers, resembling oversized bread dough kneaders, ensure a homogeneous mixture. Water is added to the dry ingredients, transforming the mixture into a thick, malleable paste. This paste is then passed through a series of rollers, much like pasta dough, to further refine its texture and consistency. The rolling process is crucial for achieving a uniform distribution of graphite and clay particles. This ensures that every pencil lead extruded from this mixture will have consistent writing properties. The blended and rolled paste is then ready for the next stage of its transformation shaping. Shaping the lead. 
The process of transforming the graphite clay paste into slender pencil leads is a marvel of precision engineering. The paste is first extruded through a die, a metal plate with tiny holes. As the paste is forced through these holes, it emerges as long, thin strands. These strands, still soft and pliable, are then cut to the desired length, ready to be transformed into the familiar pencil leads. The cut strands are then dried to remove any remaining moisture. This drying process is critical for ensuring the lead's structural integrity and preventing breakage during handling and use. Once dry, the leads undergo a high temperature firing process in a kiln. This firing hardens the leads, burning off any remaining binders and giving them their final strength and consistency. The wooden casing. While the lead is the heart of the pencil, the wooden casing is its soul. The casing provides more than just protection for the fragile lead. It also influences the writing experience. Cedar wood, known for its straight grain, softness and pleasant aroma, is the preferred wood for pencil casings. The wood is harvested from sustainably managed forests and cut into slats called pencil slats. These slats are then grooved on one side to create channels for the leads. The grooves are precisely cut to match the dimensions of the leads ensuring a snug fit. The grooved slats are then treated with wax or a similar substance to enhance their smoothness and prevent the wood from splintering during sharpening. Assembly lead meets wood. The marriage of lead and wood takes place in the assembly line, a symphony of synchronized movements. Glue is applied to the grooved side of one slat and the leads are carefully placed into the grooves. A second slat, also grooved, is then placed on top of the first, sandwiching the leads between them. This sandwich is then clamped tightly and left to dry, allowing the glue to bond the wood and secure the leads in place. Once the glue has dried, the sandwich is fed through a shaping machine. This machine carves out individual pencils from the glued slats, giving them their characteristic hexagonal or round shape. Each pencil is then carefully inspected to ensure that the lead is centred within the wood and that there are no imperfections in the casing. Finishing touches. The journey from raw materials to finished pencil is nearing its end. The pencils, now in their familiar form, undergo a series of finishing touches to enhance their appearance and functionality. The pencils are first sanded to smooth out any rough edges and create a comfortable grip. They are then coated with a layer of lacquer or paint, not only for aesthetics but also to protect the wood from moisture and wear. Some pencils are stamped with the manufacturer's name, the pencil grade or other decorative markings. Erasers held in place by a metal ferrule are added to one end of many pencils, adding to their versatility. Finally, the pencils are sharpened, revealing the smooth black tip of the lead within. This final step marks the completion of their transformation, ready to be shipped to eager writers and artists around the world. The enduring legacy of the pencil. The pencil, a seemingly simple tool, represents centuries of innovation and craftsmanship. Its journey from graphite mine to pencil case is a testament to human ingenuity and our desire to leave our mark on the world. From the faintest sketch to the most intricate drawing, the pencil has been an indispensable tool for artists, writers, architects and countless others. Its versatility and accessibility have made it a ubiquitous companion found in classrooms, studios and homes worldwide. The environmental impact of pencil production is a growing concern. Sustainable forestry practices, responsible mining and the use of recycled materials are crucial for minimising the ecological footprint of this everyday tool. Despite the rise of digital devices, the pencil remains an irreplaceable tool, a tangible connection between our thoughts and the page. Its enduring legacy is a testament to its simplicity, versatility and the timeless power of the human hand. If you found this video interesting, and want to discover more about how things are made, built, explored, discovered or manufactured, be sure to give this video a comment, a like and subscribe to Manufactor.